Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to Shay for becoming our first member. His link will be in the description down below. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout New Vegas. Um, yeah, we're carrying on where we left off. Uh, I went, got all the routes again, um, and we are going over to here. Uh, I think we're doing a campfire thing. Um, we're still on the tutorial though. Um, I might call it quits after, like, the tutorial. Might finish that off earlier. Uh, what are these? Ah, oh, geckos. These are the geckos we killed in the last episode. Why is she all the way out here still? I'm glad we can still do this in Fallout. Be able to jump up over sides and that. Hello. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Healing powder. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy? She's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. So we need to go back to the saloon. And we need to meet Trudy. Uh, let's take a quick drink. Uh, health is full now. There we go. Let's go. It's quite a long way to walk to places, actually, when you're going this slow. What's this over here? tin can. Uh, I might go back into first person actually because third person is a little bit annoying. Uh, I think that's the saloon over there. Remember, do not shoot them. <laughs> Last time we found that out the hard way. Saloon! We are at the saloon. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. 
That makes sense. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Yeah, we found that out earlier. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. Um... Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Um... It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. Oh. What were you in prison for? None of for? your damn business. You ought to know better. Robbed some people. Burned some things. Killed a few guys. Oh. What say I help you take over this town? Uh, no. What do you know about the Legion? I've run with some tough gangs. But I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing. But I'll be staying out of their way. Safe bet. New California Republic. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave, but it's a big desert, so it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Uh, do you know anything about Never Hoover Dam? Since the NCR's got troops all over it, must be pretty important. Yeah. He's a bit of a prick. I don't like him. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, what have you got for I'm sale? I'm sure I've got something you like. I'm sure. I'm sure. Barter plus ten. Wait, what's that one? Vodka. Uh, I'll accept that for now. Another satisfied customer. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Uh, where's Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh, we're gonna have to go there. Uh... You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gang is. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. All right. Uh, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. 
Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. So he's part of the powder gangers. Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. And it hasn't been working since. So what's that music, then? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid oh. the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Hmm. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Oh, she doesn't like robots. Okay, that's... That's a useful thing to know. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. Hmm. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. Uh, yeah. Uh, goodbye. Be careful out there. Okay, so we need to sort out the radio. Um... Busted radio. You it. thirsty? I can take care of that. I fixed your radio. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. Uh, no. You're welcome. So can I'm I get you I'm not going to bother that. Uh, Be careful out there. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna mess around with that. Uh, let's go back. They don't explode. I wanted them to explode when you shoot them. Um, right, let's take a look, see what quest we've got to do. Okay, so we've got to go over this direction. I'm guessing that's it over there. Stop! You violated the law. Oh, what's this?
All right, we're in the gas station. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... Start with Sunny Smile. Okay, so we need to speak with Sonny. <coughs> um. Eight bottle caps, nice. No, there we go. Um, is there any more in there? Yes. What's in the sack? Um, I want to change my weapon out. I have no ammo for any of them, I don't think. Oh no, I do have ammo. Never mind. Is that a 9mm pistol? Hmm, fair enough. Right, we need to find Sunny. Sunny's in the saloon, by the looks of it. There she is. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy oh. Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Um, I'll be waiting. Oh, I need that fixing things book. Hang on. Um, can I? Do those, do those permanently add to my stuff? Uh, stats.
Uh, we need to speak so to you. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang? It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Uh, you should help me take down the powder gang. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a nice. word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Uh, okay, cool. Be careful out there. Okay, so we get to assign some more skill points. I'm gonna put lockpick up to 20. I'm gonna bring up my barter a little bit and my explosives a little bit. There we go, continue. Bonus. So this is granted by skill magazines last three times as long. Oh, so they're not permanent. Oh, well, I wasted that one. Uh, in combat, you do 10% damage against female opponents. Uh, I'll take that one, actually. That sounds interesting. Right, so we need to speak to Easy P. Howdy. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all you. Too dangerous. Sorry. Blow yourself up. Right, so I need more explosive. Yep. I'll keep an eye out for the powder gun. Uh, Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about it. Ah, uh, so we messed up. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. Okay. Until next time. So I'm guessing Chet is the guy in the general store. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. <coughs> Way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. This again? Like I said, I'm a... Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything... Um... Can do. Okay. Uh, I think I need to go see the doctor then. Because he's the only person left that could help out. This pistol is actually pretty good. Doc Mitchell, I'm coming to shoot you up. Where is the dock? Over here. Welcome back. I had hope you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? What can I do? 
seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. You take care now. There we go. Thank you, Doc. Right, so somehow we need to convince... We need to get our explosives and our barter up. Do we have anything? Speech plus 10, barter plus 10. Here he is. You looking to buy some supplies? You made your point. I can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Uh... Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The Great Khans normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Alright, uh, what have you got for sale? I need some... I don't even have enough for any of those mods. Super stim packs. Take it easy now. Thank you for your cooperation. I don't think we're getting the dynamite though. Um, uh, let's take a look at the quests. Right, I think we've got enough people. I can't get that last guy to come with us. Um, and lend us his dynamite. Well, it's not really lending, it's more using it. Now I'm wasting ammo here, I couldn't care. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with well, us. I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do All this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Uh, how many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Right, we got six people to kill. Oh, he's a good guy. Never mind. Why 
zombies. You better not be running. Dead. It's, you have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody, and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. As you perform actions that benefit a group, you'll gain fame. If you perform these actions, if you perform actions that harm a group, you'll gain infamy. Your reputation with any given group is a measure of the combined total of fame and infamy that you have earned. Benefits and drawbacks of any given reputation depends on the group itself. You may receive discounts with merchants, provoke attacks from hired thugs, or simply be treated differently. You've left a poor impression on the community. Oh, on the powder gangers. Okay. So I've left a poor impression on these guys. Oh! <gasps> We can take his revolver! I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but I know they'll understand once I explain things. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look me up at the Crimson Caravan Camp. Nice. Crimson Caravan Camp. Uh, he's got bottle caps, 20 gauge round, 5 dynamite, I will take them. Single shotgun. What is Doggo doing? Doggo is broken. Okay, uh, the next mission is they went to that way. But, I want to go in here and see what I can get. That was a hell of a fight. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. It probably will. What do you have for sale? Do. do you have any discounts? Okay, single shotgun. What ammo do I have? So I have um, those ones. Okay, so we got mods. What what weapons do we have? We have a 357 Magnum revolver. We got a varmint rifle. A box of that. Okay. Um. I will take the extended mag for that. Except another satisfied customer. Take it easy now. Right. Um. I need to somehow fit them on. Um, do you think I'd be able to ask this guy where the workbench is? Howdy. You looking to buy some supplies? Uh, 
know he take it easy. Oh, he doesn't have a workbench. I'm gutted. Um, I remember seeing a workbench in here. Um, I do remember seeing a workbench. Somewhere. Is it up here? No. Actually, it might be. No, that's just a car. Um, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And if you know if there are any workbenches here, let me know in the comments. Um, and if you want to help support the channel, click that join button. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Into your world.